<coughs> oh, sorry. It's all right. I didn't see it there. It's quite all right. They're all portals. Excuse me? That simple blank wash, then the outline. Like a door, like a window, archway, stage curtain, over and over again. That's what gives a room cohesion. They're each a form of entrance into something. Yes? Same, I mean, it's quite obvious when you think about it. Obvious, but subtle. Oh, you wouldn't want doorway written down to every single one. I should say not. Do you have a favorite? Um, well, those two down there, I think. Oh. What? Well, those two, they're the only two that are... Yes? Not portals. In 2013, Dr. Jill Krajanowski of the University of Pittsburgh Medical School reported that one in five adults feel they lack a social life or feel lonely. Steve Duck has a theory of disillusion which has four stages. The fourth being grave dressing, which is a stage about the relationship coming to its end and coming to terms with that. In The Rock Room by Stuart Spencer, Dennis and Alice find themselves in an art gallery known to the viewers to give them an out-of-body experience. Dennis and Alice will discuss their own grave dressing issues in their own relationships. Oh! They're ground plans. How can you tell? Well, you see, you're not looking through something, you're looking down from above. Kind of like a site of an excavation or bird eye view. Uh, see the outline there, see? Yes. Standard interpretation. Really? Oh, sure. I never would have thought of it. I read it in the book. Very informative. Thank you. This is this your uh, first time? Yes, I just happened to be in the neighborhood and I thought, why not? But. That was very helpful, thank you. The question is, portals to where? I don't know. One doesn't know, does one? No. Almost as if he didn't want us to know. Yes. Not to know. Not literally, anyway. Right, exactly. Where do you think they go? Where have you been? Well, I, what do you mean? You were just in the neighborhood, you were walking by. Where were you going? Nowhere special. No particular destination? Well. Here, I suppose, this became my destination. Doesn't that ever happen to you? You go somewhere and then you think, yes, this is it. Interesting. Is it? Well, you know the story of how they got here, right? No. They were meant as a mural for some restaurant. I forget the name, but very famous. In New York, a commission. But he finishes the paintings and he thinks, I don't want my paintings looking down on some rich guy chewing on a sirloin. So he returns to commission and keeps the paintings. For 10 years they sit, nothing. And this place offers to buy them. So he says, all right, on one condition. They get their own room with lighting, just so, like this, very dark. And the mural stays together. The mural stays together forever. And not a sirloin steak in sight. So the gallery says, all right, we accept your condition. And that morning, they get a call from overseas from the dealer in New York. And that night, as the paintings were high over the Atlantic, he killed himself. See what I mean? I'm not sure. It was his destination. <sighs> like a letter from a dead man. How could you leave like that? Dennis, don't. No, why shouldn't I? <sighs> this was going so well. Why did you leave? I didn't leave. Oh, really? Well, I'm here, aren't I? I'm here now. You know, if you look long enough, they start to shimmer. Yes? Vibrate almost. This one in particular. Do you see? No. Well, go right up to it. What do you mean? 18 inches is the perfect distance. That's what he says. How do you know? It's in the flyer. Now go ahead. Go right up to it. Now give it a moment. Yes? Hmm. Yes? Yes. Almost as if there's something behind something else? Yes. When did you notice this? I don't know. I just looked at it and it started to shimmer. Yes. Vibrate almost, but there's nothing but the painting. Nothing, no. Shimmering, vibrating, Lambent. beautiful, but, but... But what? Not beautiful? Yes, that's exactly it. Beautiful, but not beautiful. You can't go now. Well, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted you to see that. Wanted me to see what? That it shimmers. Yes, and what else? 
What do you mean, what else? What else is there? <laughs> why does it shimmer? Well, I can't explain that. Then why are you telling me? I didn't tell you. I asked you to look. You looked, you saw. There has to be more to it than that. You must know why. It shimmers because that's what it does. And why should it do that? I already told you, I can't explain that. Is it because we can see through to the other side? Is it because we there's something on the other side? Yes, I've told you. Then what is it? If I could tell you, I would, but there's nothing I could say that would explain it. If I could, there wouldn't be any reason for the painting. This is worse than the fact that you tried to leave in the first place. Do you know that, or is it that you just don't care? All right. What do you see? I just told you. Behind that, the reason for all that shimmering. I don't want to think it. Why not? I don't want to say. Why not? Because it's like you said, it's something not beautiful. And? And it's like a candle. So? Like a flame. And? It scares me. Well, it can be frightening, yes. That's very comforting. Thanks a lot. Sunlight. That's, that's the closest way I can explain it. Sunlight. It's like a flame after all, isn't it? blinding, burning, but at the same time, quite beautiful, the most beautiful thing there is. You're right. Isn't it? Yes. So, in a sense, it had nothing to do with you. Oh, I know that. Do you really? Well, I just, I just, I don't know. I, I felt as though I wasn't... What? This is stupid. What? Worthy. Well, that's all that was. A feeling. You know, if you really think about it, if you really try to understand, you'll know it was just... I had to go. It wasn't anyone's decision. Yours, mine, anyone's. Everyone has their time. I've had mine, and you'll have yours. I was just so angry, even still. Well, of angry. course, who would it be? Really? Yes, furious. I just, I don't know, I thought, I thought I was some kind of crank or something. You're not a crank. Well, you are, talking to yourself in art galleries after all. Don't say that. What? I'm talking to myself. You're here, I know you are. Yes, but imagine what someone else would see if they walked in right now. You know, I wonder. Wonder what? If I somehow, if I somehow knew, not, not knew, but somehow felt you would be here. You were ready to see me, that's all. Must you go now? I think I ought to now. Hold my hand. Thank you for, uh, Making this my destination? Yes, that's it, isn't it? You were bitten. If you'd like another minute, you could walk out with me. No. And you're staying? If, if I walk out with you now, I just have to say goodbye to you so that sounds better over here. You know, that's a really smart decision. You're always such a smart boy. You know, I worried about my other children when I had to leave, but I never worried about you. You were so young, <laughs> the youngest, but even then I knew how smart you were. I knew you'd be fine. I think you're wrong about those two, though. I think they're also doors. I think they're all doors.